Hello and welcome to the MXQ project. My name is Matthew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install TWRP and use it on an MXQ box S805. So one of these things. We're also going to be showing you how to install Lever Rec using this system because quite frankly the recovery process on an MXQ box is a lot of crap. So let's crack on and I'll show you how to use Team Wind Recovery Project. First of all we need to go and grab a few files. We shall go to KZAC directory to grab our LibreLEC, which is kzak.librelec.tv forward slash s 5 and you'll see 7.0.3.3 which is a folder. The one below it is Krypton which is 8.0. Unfortunately we can't use TWRP to install that just yet. So if we want to go to Krypton, we'll have to install Jarvis first and then update it using Samba, which I'll cover in another video. But for now, we can just install LibreLex 7, which is running Kodi 16.1. Click onto the folder and you'll see NAND. Click onto NAND and you'll be presented with three zip files. The first one says HD18 q and that's the all black one, just like this one here. The one below it is the mxq.arm, that is the B-Link version and it has a red stripe on the top and a power button in the middle and if you have one of those you need to download that file. The last one is M201D, they're quite rare but sometimes they do come people do come across them and they're the ones with half a gig of RAM and the chances are it'll just look like this one, an all black one. So download the file appropriate to your box and we'll proceed to go and grab TWRP. So you can get TWRP from us, which is the mqproject.com forward slash files. We didn't build it, just to be clear, Abdul did over on FreeTab. He ported Team Win Recovery Project over to the S85 processor. And if you want to go say thanks or hello to him, just go to the free tab and find the appropriate thread. Otherwise, come over to the mxqproject.com forward slash files and we've got them all in one place just on there. So in the middle you'll see a folder saying TWRP, click into there. And the chances are you'll need the top one that's there, the MSQ all black. And if I click into that folder, it says recovery.image. Download that file. Don't change the name of that file as well, that's really important. And then once you've done that, we can proceed to grabbing an SD card. So once you've grabbed an SD card, something like that, pop it into your computer. As you can see I've already prepared it first. But just as an example, you can grab your LibreLex file and right and click and unzip it. And make sure of course you've got an unzip piece of software on a computer and then what that will do is it will give you two files factory underscore update underscore param.ml and librelec set 5 with update at the end as well as that we need to make sure we still got our recovery damage because that is TWRP and that's the program we're going to be running directly off the MXQ box in a short while so once you've done that get your three files Highlight them all, open up your SD card and drag and drop them in and it should look like that once you've finished. So once you've done that, all you've got to do is move on to the next step which is launching TWRP from your MXQ box. So this part of the process is really quite simple. If you've watched our LibreLeft dual boot guide, this is probably going to be very familiar to you. So what you need to do is grab your SD card, something pin on pointy, pop your HDMI cable in, make sure that's in already. Don't apply power just yet. Pop your SD card in the SD card tray of the, of the MXQ box. And then in the AV port, which is next to the HDMI cable, 
pop your sharp object in and feel for a click. You can probably hear that on the camera. Keep that held in, because this is what's going to tell the hardware to boot from the SD card. And then apply power. Keep it held in. This takes a couple of seconds. And if I adjust the camera, it will boot TWRP. Just team in. Ignore the pink screen, that's just my crappy TV and the HDMI cable, it's not very good. But it will boot to TWRP. And the next step, I'll show you how to actually use this recovery, recovery program. So this part is really quite simple. The great thing about Team Win Recovery Project is it's all laid out in a really intuitive way. We've got install, backup, restore and wipe. We've also got a few different features which we won't go into today. To install your LibreLeg, click on install. And all you've got to do is click on storage which, and select external SD. Click OK and it should display that LibreLeg zip file which we had before, which is update.zip at the end. Click on that and you'll be presented with this screen. All you've got to do now is swipe to confirm flash. Now before I do that, and before you should do that, you should back up anything that you want to keep. So if I go back out of this, we've also got this backup option. If I click into there, it gives me the option to back up my system and my data. All you've got to do is swipe to back up everything that's on your box. And what it will do is it will create a file named TWIP, or folder should I say and it will save it onto the SD card. That means whenever you want to restore whatever you've done, so if you've got Android firmware on there that you really want to keep, and you've maybe got a complete setup and you maybe want to return to it whenever you like, all you gotta do is boot team win recovery project again, select restore, and what will happen is you'll be presented with the files that you've that the system's created for you and then you can just easily reinstall it. As well as that, if something gets corrupted, say the Brugger becomes corrupted or Android firmware becomes corrupted and things just aren't working right, you can completely wipe everything using this option. You can advance wipe, format data, etc. or factory reset the system. But just to install something, click on install, like I said before, click on the file and then swipe to confirm flash and then the process will start as I'll show you right now. Sometimes TWRP will seem to like freeze, it's not actually frozen. The system just, just it's just trying to catch up with itself and eventually it will start on the process bar just here. Just at the bottom there as you can see. We we'll wait a few seconds and hopefully it'll catch up for it with itself, which it should do. <laughs> as well as that, after this is completed, I'm going to show you how to replace your rubbish Android recovery system with this. So you don't actually have to place that onto an SD card anymore. You can just boot straight to it using the toothpick method, you know, the sharp this thing, insert it to the AV port. You can just pop that in and then you can boot straight to Team Win Recovery. So as you can see on screen, it's totally complete. And to launch it, I'll just reboot the system. But I won't do that because I want to show you how to replace your recovery image with TWRP. So to do that, you click on Install and then you go to Image. And then you go and select Recovery.image just there. And then you select... It's asking you there to select partition to flash image. So we want to select the recovery partition. So click on there. And all you do is to swipe the confirm flash. What it will do is that recovery image, which is on the SD card, it will replace the old Android recovery with it. And that's pretty quick and that's completed. 
like I said at the start, there is a few different sections to this system, but that's pretty much TWRP in a nutshell. And as you'll find, it's a lot easier to use. So, as well as that, as well as installing LibreOffice, you can also install Android firmware as long as it's a zip file of some sort. For example, we've got Lollipop you maybe want to try on your MXQ. That's why I've dug it again. And you can I'll leave all the links in the description, etc., for downloading that. Just make sure you unzip it. Well, I don't think you actually have to unzip the app done file, but anyway. I'll leave all the links in the description. If there's any more information that I've maybe missed out, I'll try and put it in the description again. So that's it for TWRP. And if you like the video, if you like the guide, please leave me a like. If you didn't like it, fine, give me a dislike. And if you've got any questions, please comment in the box below. And we're also a friendly group. Come over to the Facebook group, the MXQ Project. We'll have, gladly have you over there and we can talk about anything you like over there. We've also got some plenty more videos coming, such as Lacquer. We've also got Alex Avet coming, videos on those. As well as that, we'll probably cover more of this as well. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.